Nashua and Rough Riders. It's your turn to answer. You see Lions with some late scores in quarters. Second quarter, they get on the board. Third quarter, another major score. Only two majors, and Travis Lule, you're joining some elite company. He runs that streak to 18 games, and now into a tie with one Kahari Jones, who happens to be in the building. Kahari now the quarterback coach for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. There he is, right behind those helmets. There you can see the, the cap. A lot of those touchdown passes from Kahari Jones to a guy in our studio, by the way. Is that out pass again? Josh Sanders now. Minion of scat back. There's Kahari. This is what the rest of Kahari's face looks like. <laughs> Jones, Hamilton Tiger Cats, the last couple of years on the sideline, joining Corey Chamberlain in Saskatchewan. Work to do here for this offense against a defense that has been impenetrable. Grant goes over the top. No, there is a flag. Almost was going to say no flag there for a moment, but it was a late call, and Dante Marsh did have Weston Dressler's jersey. Yeah. Busted for doing a little bit of water skiing on that one. Pass interference, BC, number 31. First step. Weston Dresser lines up out wide on this one. Working against the corner, Marsh just off screen. Catches Dante Marsh on that stutter move. Marsh jumps it. That's why he's got to get a little grab as he tries to recover. Dante Marsh. Already a key interception in this one. Durant, the rush on again. Slant pattern, very cool right now. Darian Durant still delivers the ball. And once again, it's Jock Sanders. Feet six inches. Sanders out of West Virginia. Well, Sanders spent some time with the Lions last season before joining the Riders this year. Played two games with the Lions last year. What a debut, as a matter of fact. Had 234 all purpose yards in his CFL debut, but now finds a home with the Rough Riders. And he gives them a little bit of a uh, Weston Dressler B. Yes. The guy you try to get the ball to in space. Outstanding kick returner in college. But you'll see them throw him a lot of bubble screens and hitch screens. Try to allow him to make people miss in space. Like Dressler, you'll see him involved in slot back sweeps as well. Second down and a yard to go. No Drew Willie this time. Darian Durant stays in. Maybe some momentum now for the Rough Riders offensively. It's been over 11 quarters now since the BC Lions has have last given up a touchdown. Durant behind center. And off to Sheets. Meets an orange wall. See where the spot is. In about a half yard. Well, that orange wall is led by number 44, Adam Big Hill. And whoever would have imagined that the BC Lions could lose a guy like Solomon Elamimian and replace him and, and not miss a beat at the middle linebacker position. Big Hill has been nothing short of outstanding this season. He has played big time, Adam Big Hill. New Jersey number 44 back to his old Jersey number. Use that number on special teams as well now, and so they're short. So now Drew Willie comes in for the third down play. I'm just going to see Adam Big Hill step up into the line and stuff this run by Corey Sheets. He thinks he's got a cutback lane. Adam Big Hill suggests otherwise. Another day at the office for Adam Big Hill. Seven tackles in this game. 13th man raises the decimal factor here. 
Third down gamble again. Willie behind center. Is it enough? Does not look like it. Now, Drew Willig is saying it's it's enough, so they're going to have to measure this again. It's all going to depend on the spot. What kind of spot was it? Was it favorable for the Rough Riders? And Corey Sheets goes airborne on this one. Doesn't gain a lot of ground. May have approached the, the plane that he needs to break for that first down, so it is all gonna come down to the spot here. I don't know. I don't know if he got it. He did not. He did not get it. Big stand there by the BC Lions D. Huge defensive stop again by the Lions. With expect while we were away, Corey Chamberlain and the Rough Riders decided to challenge that third down play, feeling that the spot was not correct. Dave Foxcroft on the line with CFL Command. And here you'll see Corey Sheets goes airborne. As he disappears behind that pile, it's tough to tell exactly how much forward progress he gained. They had to get inside the 44-yard line. After review, the ruling on the field stands. First down, BC. And no surprise there. No surprise. Still lots of time left here. A number of turnovers in this game. Both sides have turned the ball over on downs. And there's the, the guy who helped turn the favor for the BC Lions, Adam Big Hill. A couple of huge stops again. Just like Solomon Alamimi in there. For so many games where you said his name so many times, almost every play defensively, you are mentioning Adam Big Hill. Testament to his skill. Blue light. Fires over the top, incomplete. Looking for Arlan Bruce for the third straight pass. Let's go to Farhan Lauji, who's got a guest. Yeah, Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Now, many people might assume you're an, es or an Eskimo fan, but clearly you're not. Uh, yeah, I've, uh, I grew up in Burnaby, so uh, my dad's been a Lion fan for a long time, so it just kind of uh, went through to me. Rick Vallette, your agent's a big Ryder fan. That's going to cause a bit of a conflict. Yeah, we have a uh, dinner riding on the game today, and it's, uh, it's looking good for me right now. Yeah, what, what about uh, just what you're doing right now in the summer? I know a lot of people would, would be planning for an NHL season. Are you planning for anything in particular? No, yeah, definitely uh, planning for a season. I mean, you got to prepare that way, and uh, just whatever happens, happens. But definitely uh, uh, preparing as well, as well as I can. Enjoy the game. All right, thank you. Ryan Nugent Hopkins, a skilled playmaker, great young hockey player. Got ways to go to fill up that number 93 jersey. <laughs> Getting to be a fan here today. So Sean Gore calling in a pass there, bringing it into Saskatchewan territory. First and 10 to BC. 14 point lead. From the Saskatchewan 54. Lule. Ayanutsi. Ayanutsi. Move the sticks again. Marco Ayanutsi, a touchdown in week three against the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. He's just going to catch the hitch screen here. Ayanutsi, the man in motion at the back of the cluster. Going to have Arlen Bruce G. Roy Simon block for him here. Ayanutsi, a terrific kick returner during his time in college at Harvard. They try to take advantage of some of his speed on that play. Another product like Roly Lamballa of St. Francis High School in Calgary. Teammates, Bala and Ayanutsi and Andrew Harris. Can't get much there as Brent Hawkins swooped in. Ten and a half minutes left here. And the Saskatchewan Rough Riders find a way to come back. They have been victims of comebacks 
over the last three weeks. Holding leads, giving up leads, losing three straight. Brett Hawkins comes down hard on that backside on the last play. Just watch for BC to possibly set him up on a boot. Go to his side with Lula. Second and seven, deep drop for Lule. And the low, Ernest Jackson, they were saying he made the catch. Shoestring catch. Lule kind of almost a pitch out to him, and it's very close to a first down. A little shot put from Travis Lule. Ernest Jackson makes his way towards the sideline. Goes down for it. And comes up with it. No doubt on that one. No need to challenge. Now they're going to measure this. Markers. Well, Travis Lule was down there trying to get a preliminary look at what they might need before heading to the sidelines. A yard, a little less than a yard. It'll be third down. Two touchdown lead here. And Mike Riley will come back in. Short yardage quarterback, Mike Riley. Go to the double tights with backup offensive linemen Adam Babulas and Patrick Cabongo in as the tight ends here. One thing the BC Lions have had through the years is always a capable replacement. Mike Riley is the guy waiting. This is what he does now. Short yardage situations. Third down. Can the riders now? Stuff the Lions. Penalty flag. As Mike Riley squirmed over easily, attaining the yardage. But what's the call? Offside, Saskatchewan, number 11. It's a five yard penalty. First down. Alignment issue. Move point. Lions drive will continue. Odell Willis way out in front of the rest of the, the riders D here into that one yard area well, the riders know they cannot allow the Lions into the end zone here or this could virtually seal it the way that the Lions have been playing defense three games now not giving up a major score Catch up to Harris. You can see them trying to go after the strip. Gonna force a turnover here. Get the football back. Clock ticks under nine minutes to go here in BC Place. Well, he didn't make the tackle on this play, but the key guy here is Brent Hawkins. As he sees the tackle start to pull out Ben Archibald, he knows he better get wide here and turn this play back in. That's exactly what he does. Watch him scramble out wide, make sure he doesn't get out flanked. Forces Andrew Harris back into the teeth of his defense. It'll be second down and six. Arlan Bruce was the go-to guy in the last drive. Trying to beat G.Y. Simon this time. He's looking the other way. Looking for Arlan. He's got a first down. Just outside the 15-yard line. Eddie Russ was there to make the play in the tackle, and the Lions eating up the clock and the real estate here. Well, this is a clinic in route running here. As you see that little subtle lean to the inside by Arlen Bruce just before he makes his breakout. Well, Eddie Russ is looking at the same thing. He sells to the, he's sold to the inside. Bruce cuts it out, gets a little bit of separation just by that very subtle move. Three catches now for 94 yards. Arlen Bruce did not have any until late in the third quarter. Sign on top of your screen. 
Akeem Foster at the bottom. Lule now. Hands it off to Ernest Jackson. Foot race. Jackson to the end zone. Jackson turns on the Jets in a play the Saskatchewan Rough Riders did not see coming. Well, what BC does here is a great influence. They make it look like they're going right all the way here. And you're going to see the Saskatchewan defense. Everybody shifts to their left. This includes even looking like they're going to crack block down on that side of the defense to try and get the corner. Everybody gets a little bit tight inside on the opposite side. Ernest Jackson takes it around the corner. His first CFL touchdown. Nine plays, 66 yards. The BC Lions making it look easy now here in this second half. Three touchdown lead.